Hey everyone, this is Zephy. citizens it's Zephy back for another Kingdom Hearts card review week 25 and today I'm going to be talking about a another new card from the new set light and darkness soon to come out hopefully within a week or two that would be Bambi level one uh, plus one support value when it comes into play you draw a card draw one card basically uh, this is such a fantastic card when you really think about it what makes this Bambi so great you know you might at first glance you might Depending on your viewpoint, you might say, why not just run the Bambi level 3, which everybody has been doing up to this point to draw 2. But here's the, here's the thing about the Bambi level 1. Number 1, it's level 1 Magic Friend, which gives you the option with Mer Mansora, Halloween Town Sora, or Sora level 1, 2, or 3 to be played without any friend support on the field that have magic value support. So if you're... SOL, I, basically the best way I could put it, and you don't have any level 1 friends or you don't have a King Triton or a Moogle available, and let's say you know you have a level 2, level 3, level 4 in your hand, and without that, uh, basically that Bambi, you wouldn't have been able to play him. Well, that Bambi will open up the option for you to build your levels. So you can play your level 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever, so, so far and so forth. But even so, even if you don't have anything to back it up with it's still basically a free plus one you just play it draw a card and you have it on the field for that turn so it's not the worst card in the world when it comes to the strategic value like that um, the draw power is not as powerful as the level three Bambi which overall is probably going to be still better in terms of the draw capacity but for strategic value this card definitely is amazing because again if you don't have any friends on the field you can play this in, and you're playing a sword, you're playing World Rush especially, and it'll give you the option to draw another card, which will open up, you know, maybe you'll draw that world you need, maybe you'll draw a Keyblade that you need to deal with Heartless, it'll open up a whole world of options, you know, just to get that one extra card and also thin out your deck faster. Uh, and you look at where the format of this game may be heading, you may run into a lot more time where you don't have as many friends on the field as you'd like with certain cards that are also going to limit playability of other card types as well where you know you give kind of a fast answer you could play this on turn one you could play it you know almost any time as long as you have a player card that has magic support so it gives you the kind of a quick answer a faster answer to play a little bit faster than those control or locks that people are going to start playing on you and you're going to get slowly locked down well why why wait for the Bambi level three that you might not be able to play turn one maybe you will depending on what kind of friend cards you run you know your friend to deck card build ratio but again this is just going to be a faster answer and it may be a lot more viable people may not think that right now but I can definitely guarantee you're going to see Bambi level one popping up in a lot of deck types uh, especially with the dark player card Riku coming out and that whole format kicking into this game and changing the whole face of the strategy and just the game itself and the way strategy will be implemented and what kind of deck types we'll see pop up people are going to be looking for different answers and Bambi level 1 is going to open up a lot of new answers that people didn't realize before and it's definitely again it's just like bam you can play it at any time as long as you have that Sora and even if you don't even if you're just running it with regular friend cards it's still a quick answer fast option you don't need you know as high of uh, magic support from your friends as well so you can have lower level friends and only have like one or two magic support and still play it pretty quickly and pretty easily so it's going to give some options it's definitely a nice card it's a nice token card it's definitely just a good good card to push with uh, it can be used in a number of ways again you draw that card it gives you a level one friend you get plus one support value so you look at all the options that it entails and it definitely will help you improve your basically strategic advantage if you want if you will or basically 
save you and get you out of a bind possibly so it's definitely a nice card to look at and it makes sense that they would limit Bambi to only three because everybody would be running like the level three at least two or three of those and then like three of these guys because it's so easy to play so uh, I could definitely see why they put a limit on it now even more so so just keep that in mind guys and basically just look out for more card reviews and hopefully the set will be out soon and I will probably make a video of me opening uh, my first box from that set alright guys thanks see you later